Welcome everybody to the 2021 Beverage Information Group Growth Brands Awards. Today, we recognize top brands that grew during what was a year of unprecedented difficulties. I'm Kyle Swartz, editor of Beverage Dynamics Magazine. With me today is Marina Velez, Senior Product Manager for the Beverage Information and Insights Group, and Melissa Dowling, editor of Cheers Magazine. We want to congratulate all of the Growth Brands Awards winners from this past year, along with our Suppliers of the Year and 2021 Hall of Fame members. Now, Marina will tell us more about some of the latest industry trends. Hi, everyone. As projected in our latest advanced report, our preliminary assessment for the beverage alcohol industry for 2020 highlights that spirits continue leading the alcohol industry forward more than beer or wine. The category achieved its 23rd consecutive year of steady volume growth, ending the, the year up 4.7%. Driving this growth has been innovation in new product offerings and line extensions that resonate with consumers' interest in changing tastes. In 2020, we saw the rise of the home premise as consumers embraced becoming amateur mixologists during the lockdown, while gravitating towards familiar brands for a sense of comfort and normalcy. At the category level, most segments saw growth with straights, tequila, cognac, and prepared cocktails achieving significant gains. Although prepared cocktails have been on the rise over the last five years, 2020 was a breakout year with growth and unprecedented 35.6%. Driven by stay-at-home orders during the pandemic, consumers turned to pre-mixed cocktails as convenient quality alternatives to easily replicate the bar experience. Total wine consumption growth was just at 0.7% in 2020. While celebratory occasions were few, champagne and sparkling wine consumption achieved some growth, particularly as Prosecco's remained popular. Also, the, tr the table wine segment posted growth of just under 1%. And now Kyle will talk about some of the spirit category trends. In terms of spirits last year, whiskey remained one of the hottest beverage alcohol categories in America. More and more consumers have taken the time to learn about the production process and long history behind this category. It's also a sign of COVID era premiumization as consumers sheltering in place during the pandemic splurged on bottles of brown spirits to savor while stuck at home. Along those lines, whiskey also benefited from the 2020 trend of at-home mixology. More consumers became com comfortable with a wider set of spirits brands while experimenting with cocktails at home. This also fueled sales for tequila, another big winner from 2020. Consumers bought agave spirits in high numbers to make their own margaritas and other mixed drinks. Moreover, the level of connoisseurship recently established in the whiskey category has extended into tequila. Brown spirits enthusiasts are now exploring through high-end tequila bottles. We expect all of these trends will continue in the year ahead as the pandemic winds down in America. Now, Melissa will tell you about wine trends. Thanks, Kyle. The slight increase in wine consumption in 2020 likely came from consumers stocking up on wine at the start of the COVID shutdowns, and then they kept buying more wine throughout the year since they were mostly staying at home. As, Mar as Marina said, the continued popularity of sparkling wine is driving sales. U.S. consumers have come to love sparkling before a meal, with a meal, at brunch, after work, in a cocktail, and so on. The Prosecco style is now recognized as a good value in sparkling, and a number of popular wine brands have launched Proseccos. Now that the consortium in Italy has approved the production of Prosecco Rosé, the alignment of these two hot trends is like sure to boost growth further. And if you hadn't noticed, more celebrities are getting into the wine game, which helps draw new consumers into the category. Snoop Dogg, Sarah Jessica Parker, Dwayne Wade, Cameron Diaz, and Mary J. Blige are just a few of the entertainers with new wine brands. Our wine supplier of the year is e j Gallo Winery. Founded just after Prohibition in 1933, Gallo today is the largest family-owned winery in America. Iconic brands like Barefoot, New Amsterdam, New Amsterdam, La Marca, and Black Box led the way for strong sales in 2020. The supplier of the year also successfully adapted to the pandemic with a slate of interactive digital and virtual content that connected with consumers who were sheltering at home. Our spirit supplier of the year is Brown Foreman. Founded in 1870, this company celebrates 150 years in 2020. It was a difficult year for such a momentous occasion, but Brown Foreman benefited from several pandemic trends. As COVID-19 swept across America, 
Consumers reach for brands they knew and trusted. Brown Foreman possesses many of these, led by perpetual winners like Jack Daniels, Woodford Reserve, Old Forester, Herodera, and Corbell. And like Gallo, Brown Foreman pivoted towards digital during the pandemic, increasing investment in virtual and social media. Both suppliers also deserve commendation for efforts to protect their employees and partners during the health crisis. We have three new entries to our Growth Brands Hall of Fame this year, which means that all three have earned 15 Growth Brand Awards. On the wine side, we congratulate Woodbridge by Robert Mondavi. The Woodbridge wine Winery was founded by the legendary California winemaker in 1979, when Robert Mondavi acquired a local cooperative of grape, grape growers in the Lodi region. The two spirits brand joining our Hall of Fame are Evan Williams and Bacardi. The Evan Williams opened Kentucky's first commercial distillery in 1783. His namesake bourbon brand is now part of Heaven Hill. Bacardi may be one of the, the giants in the spirits world with a portfolio of more than 200 brands and labels, but it all started with its eponymous Bacardi rum brand. Congratulations to the newest members of our Hall of Fame. Thank you to all of our growth brand sponsors this year. We'll announce our beer growth brands winners in the fall. On behalf of Kyle Schwartz and Melissa Dowling, I'm Marina Velez. Thank you for joining us. And again, congratulations to all of the winners.